Hello friends, welcome back to the lecture series on high voltage engineering. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss our topic non-destructive testing of dielectric materials. All of you know what is mean by dielectric materials. The dielectric materials means the insulating material. In case of high voltage engineering, the insulating material is classified into four categories. One solid, liquid, gas and vacuum. Solid means the paper, liquid specifically oil, gas is SF6, even air and vacuum means the pressure of air which is below the atmospheric pressure that is called vacuum. So these four kinds of insulating materials that can be used in the electrical devices either for as an insulating material or for quenching the are in the circuit breakers. So let us start with the uh, non-destructive testing of these uh, materials. This is just an introduction and we'll see the details about all the testings which are done on the electrical apparatus. So electrical insulating materials are used in various forms to provide insulation for the apparatus so as i said that particular material can be act as a insulating material or maybe the arc quenching material many a times that is also used for the decrease in the temperature so that we can call it as a cooling material so the insulating materials may be solid liquid gas or even the combination of these such as paper impregnated with oil so paper means the solid insulating material and it is kept in oil so we call it as a mixed material we call it as a mixed material so these materials should possess good insulating properties over a wide range of operating parameters such as wide temperature range now when we say a wide temperature range it is from 0 degree celsius up to 110 degree celsius so it means that that particular insulating material should have a withstand capacity of 110 degree celsius temperature so that particular rise in temperature means we can call it as the change in temperature we can call it as the change in temperature basically occurs due to the flow of current in the medium or in the power system. So whenever there is an insulating material used in that power system, the rise in current rises the temperature and that insulating material should have a withstand capacity of up to 110 degree Celsius. Now it should have a frequency range also and that varies from uh, several megahertz, right? So it can have DC to several megahertz in radio and high frequency uh, range. Since it is difficult to test the quality of an insulating material after it forms part of an equipment, suitable tests must be done to ensure their quality in the said range of operation. Like when we purchase any of the material, we generally test it whether it is good or not whether it has ability to withstand maybe the pressure, maybe the uh, temperature, maybe volume, voltage, etc. Same way, whenever we need to have uh, insulating material to be used on in the power system, it must be tested. And that testing while I done, testing while a part is done in this particular chapter, like that testing while a part is to be studied in this particular chapter. So, as I said, it is quite difficult to test the quality of insulating material. So also these tests are devised to ensure that the material is not destroyed as in the case of high voltage testing. 
and we'll take testing. Now, these tests are mainly done to assess the electrical properties. Now, what are those electrical properties? The properties are like the resistivity that is represented as rho. That rho is given by the equation. I think all of you know R is equal to rho L upon A. And if I write the expression for resistivity, it is equal to R into A upon L. So to check the resistivity, then the dielectric constant, loss factor, etc. Right? And or oh, that must be tested over a wide frequency range. So for change in frequency, it can be tested. In high voltage apparatus, the quality of insulation is assessed by measuring the loss factor at high voltage and also by conducting partial discharge test to detect any deterioration or faults in the internal insulation of the apparatus. So that internal insulation testing can be done by using two tests that is called by, by using this particular test called as partial discharge test. That is called as partial discharge test. So uh, if there is any flaw available inside the insulation during this partial discharge phase, the partial discharges takes place inside the insulating material. And therefore, the test is named as a partial discharge. Partial means the discharges which takes place inside the insulating material, but it is partial, not complete. So therefore, it is referred as a partial discharge test. So therefore, we have this particular test at high voltage, maybe at high frequency. Now, these tests may be conducted at desired temperature, as already said in previous slide, and over a temperature range by keeping the test specimen in controlled temperature ovens. Like the ovens are used, like we use ovens for the baking purpose in the kitchens. Same way, the the high temperature ovens can be preferred for testing the specimen of any of the insulating material. Now, a knowledge of the variation of electrical properties over the operating range can be obtained from these tests, and this will help the design engineer to take into account such variations in the design of electrical insulation for equipment. So this is all about the introduction to this first topic of this new chapter that is high voltage testing of electrical power apparatus and high voltage laboratories. So the name of the topic is non-destructive testing of dielectric materials. Hope you understood the concept. Thank you so much, guys. Take care.